Hello, my name is Lolita Wilkins and I work for the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission as a wastewater treatment operator. Um, currently, I work as an HVAC, that stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, um, somewhat technician. Um, the things that I do here is make sure that the temperatures are nice and comfortable for everyone who works here. But we also have temperature sensitive rooms, such as areas in the lab where we have to maintain a certain temperature so the samples that we collect uh, won't spoil. When I was in high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do uh, when I grew up, so I attended City College of San Francisco for two years and I graduated from there. Uh, right before I was ready to transfer to a four year, um, I got called for the job as a stationary engineer apprentice. So I went through the four year um, stationary apprenticeship and that's of course where I learned about wastewater and HVAC, which I'm currently doing right now. Um, so the training definitely that you need for this job is to go through a stationary engineer course or if you have any HVAC classes that are offered through a city college, um, I definitely encourage you to, to take some of those classes and definitely try it out. And some of the things I like best about my job, um, well, one of my favorite things is troubleshooting. Um, in this job, you never get bored. It's always something new. Um, so I love to troubleshoot and figure things out. One of the activities that I most enjoyed, um, one time we had a boiler that went down. No one knew how to troubleshoot or to how to get it back up. And so we took things apart. We took the boiler halfway apart until we found out what the problem was. But in the meantime, while the boiler was down, everyone was complaining. They were cold and it was on a cold day. So while most people will feel under pressure, I actually like that because it just really made me work harder and really wanted to find out what the issue was. So as soon as we got the boiler back up, everybody was so thankful they were back warm again. So that was something I really enjoyed. So you have to be self-driven to work in this field. You have to be very dedicated. It may be some days where you may have to stay overtime. You may not want to, but you have to stay overtime to make sure that everyone is satisfied. Um, you definitely have to have good communication skills, um, get a, get along well with everyone because you never know when you may need someone. My advice is to definitely research before you come into this field. There's many different facets. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, which is HVAC. Um, you can also go into planning. Um, you can go into maintenance. So definitely do your research before you get involved.